It's the knave! And... child! Hey, aren't you supposed to be in Snezhnaya recuperating? What are you still doing in Fontaine? Oh, it's you two. I didn't expect to run into you here. <laughs> I was unconscious for quite a while after the fight in the Primordial Sea. After I woke up, I realized I was being taken back to Snezhnaya, and well... I couldn't have that now, could I? Not when I've still got unfinished business here in Fontaine. So, I mustered up all my strength and made the journey back on my own. What sort of unfinished business are we talking here? It has to do with Skirk, my master. I really wanted to meet up with her, but by the time I got back, she had already left. I still have so many questions for her. Without any other leads, all I could do was ask the Knave to help me track her down. She must have left behind some traces from her time in Fontaine. Oh, okay, so have you found any clues? Unfortunately, no. While the House of the Hearth is adept at collecting all manner of intelligence, certain existences can still manage to escape our purview. Basically, unless Master feels there's a need to meet with me, she's not going to be found. But that problem has an easy fix. I just need to become stronger, and then... <coughs> uh, Paimon thinks you should focus on getting better first. <laughs> the worst of it is over. It's all thanks to that one kid from the House of the Hearth. Elwar, I think her name was. She gave me a bunch of random potions to drink. They didn't go down easy, let me tell you. Pain and chills all over. But they really did help speed up my recovery. And that's good, because it looks like I really do have to head back this time. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I heard Regrater's involved too. I'm not looking forward to having to listen to all his monologuing, that's for sure. Hey, maybe you could think of a way for me to stay in Fontaine for a little longer. Helping Linny and the others brush up on their fighting skills would be far more interesting. If you and I could spar, that would be even better. I've been waiting for a chance to see you go all out. And what a sweet little daydream that is. But I also have a role to play in all this. I'll be leaving Fontaine shortly as well. Besides, considering how little they see fit to step outside the homeland, being called on to return to Snezhnaya by such illustrious dignitaries. What a great honor. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> One I could do without, I'd say. Uh, is it just Paimon? Or does it kind of seem like they're... So, dear guests of the House of the Hearth, to what do I owe the visit? Um, well, we just... Um... Right! We're super close to Linny and the others, but we still don't know much about you! Is that so? Introductions have already been made, have they not? Oh, uh, well, you see? There's only so much you can learn about someone from a short introduction. At least tell us something a little extra, like... Why do you call yourself father? Huh, good question. I'd also like to know. The fact that you have to ask tells me our intelligence work has been quite successful. Telling you the answer to that question would only serve to undermine that success. And we can't have that, now can we? Spoken like a true diplomat. That was some expert sidestepping right there. Well, if there's nothing else, I think I'll take my leave. I still have a small matter to resolve at home. Uh, uh wait, do go! <laughs> I'd also like to hear the answer to this. I've met some of the members of your organization, and they all seemed like really good kids. They actually reminded me of Tonya and Tusser. Which, by the way, if you ever betray them, I'm just letting you know, I won't let you off easy. And why would I betray them? Well, you've already betrayed the House of the Hearth once, haven't you? At least, that's what I heard. 
Hmm. Okay, okay, I admit. That's just what the old man told me. The rooster, I mean. Wait, did you really do something bad to those kids? Never mind what I've done. I'm more curious as to what the mighty rooster had to say. Care to enlighten me? Ah, well, nothing much. Just some stuff about you taking out many other members of the House of the Hearth, and even going so far to attack your own family. Hmm. I see. Oh, based on your reaction, I'm guessing it's all a bunch of lies. Hardly. I don't appreciate his particular turns of phrase, but I suppose he didn't say anything untrue. Although, it would be more accurate to say that there is a certain level of prejudice involved, but I don't intend to clear that up just yet. Prejudice has a funny way of concealing the real truth behind certain things, an attribute that I find to be quite advantageous. Call yourself a Fontanian, for example, and people will assume all sorts of things, when the real truth is that this is simply the land where I was raised. Huh? You're not actually from Fontaine? But then why did you try to help out with the prophecy and everything? I was trying to protect the children born in Fontaine. Claiming that I myself was a Fontanian simply made it easier to operate. People would hardly suspect a fellow Fontanian of having any ulterior motives. Who wouldn't want to save their homeland after all? The Primordial Sea wouldn't have any effect on me, but it would have caused great harm to the House of the Hearth. Well, you wanted extra information, didn't you? There you go. I hope that satisfied your curiosity. So, you stayed in Fontaine for the kids. I guess I was wrong to believe you'd betray them. Apologies. Looks like I was holding on to some prejudices myself. Good. Like I said, I like it when others have misconceptions of me. Actually, while I was recuperating at the House of the Hearth, there was something else that really caught my attention. I heard that members always resolve disputes and arguments with a friendly spar, and the loser has to back down. Seems pretty cool if you ask me. Would also give them plenty of opportunities to hone their skills. Well, that's only a recent development. In the past, such spars weren't nearly so... friendly. The losing party would lose everything. Including their life. They were that high stakes? Whew, at least that's not a thing anymore. Well, the current atmosphere's not half bad. I'm a bit jealous, actually. You've got so many family members around you, and you even get to live with them. Having a lot of family around means dealing with a considerable amount of bickering and scheming. Once Tonya and Tusser enter their rebellious phase, I'm sure you'll understand. Just imagine. Tusser becomes obsessed with plucking out strands from the rooster's mustache, or Tonya decides to dye her hair 42 different colors. Okay, okay. I get the picture. Uh, well, would you look at the time? I should probably get going. Traveler, Paimon, I'm not sure where our paths will cross next, but the next time we run into each other, we should definitely try and find some time to spar. <coughs> um, again, maybe this is a conversation we can have when you look less like you're gonna kill over. All right, all right. Well, thanks for everything, Arlecchino. No thanks necessary. You also played a part in obtaining the Gnosis. I would say we can call ourselves even. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Well, I'm off. See you all some other time.